You want to embark on a new style? Don't go straight to the shops and buy new things. Shop your own wardrobe first. It is well over 30 degrees. It is too hot to be wearing a woolen bag on my head. So I have to admit something. I have been having a real style slump for the past a long time, half a year maybe. I just can't pin down my style, the way I dress. I just can't figure out what it is, what I like the most. I know I like vintage style, but do I like 60s? Do I like 80s? Do I like 90s? Do I like color? Do I like monochrome outfits? What do I like? I have no idea. As a consequence, I found it really hard to get dressed in the mornings and really hard to design and make clothes for myself and I've been losing a lot of confidence with how I look. Well, I recently decided to get a new haircut. Oh, that bag mixed up well bad. Hang on. Ta-da! That's why I had that bag on my head. It was a big reveal. Haha. -ha. I don't know why, but something in me really wanted a big hair change. And for some reason, I wanted it to be, this is what I told my hairdresser, French Bob from the 20s. Here was some of the inspiration picks I brought in. And he delivered, hairdressers are magic, I swear. And I absolutely love this new hairstyle. To go with this hairstyle, I wanted to now do my makeup in a 20s way. So that's eyeliner and mascara on the top lids blush in kind of circle shapes here on my cheeks and a dark red lip slightly overlining the cupid's bow. I also think that was a bit dark. You get the gist. Anyway, I really like this new look on my face. I think it really suits me, but unfortunately the outfits that I've currently been wearing do not suit it. So then yesterday when my hair was all done fresh and my makeup was all nice, I stood in front of my wardrobe here And I realized that most of the clothes in there just don't suit this new style at all. I pulled out a couple of plain tees, this stripy one, but that was pretty much about it. So, what to do about it? Here's the thesis statement of this video. So firstly, I did what probably many of you have done when trying to figure out a new style, either for yourself or maybe for your house. I made a Pinterest board. I actually made the Pinterest board in collaboration with my best friend, Katie, who is very good at fashion, so I wanted her help. First, I sent her a photo of this haircut and this very bad video. I don't speak French. Salut, je m'appelle Annika. Je suis Francois. I am sorry to everyone in my audience who is French. She said to me, well, you wanted a French style bob. Maybe your clothes should also reflect that and be more French inspired. And so this Pinterest board is called Annika is French now. Anyway, my first thought was on creating this board, on gathering a few styles was, oh, look at all of these outfits. Look at all these styles. This is how I want to dress. But then I also thought I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe. I will need to go and shop for a whole new style. But then I took a moment and I thought about it. And a lot of these images that I pinned as inspiration include fairly basic pieces like t-shirts, high-waisted pants in a really timeless fit, accessories like berets. I like vintage fashion and a lot of the things I have are fairly timeless vintage pieces. Some pieces that I've been wearing in quite 80s outfits could be restyled to be more of this new style that I want. I've been wearing berets and neckerchiefs as like a 60s sort of mod style, but they could be worn differently. The point is I probably already have a lot of the stuff already in my wardrobe somewhere. And these pieces just need to be restyled. Some of them might need to be slightly upcycled, but I think I can do this first, either instead of, or at least before running off and going shopping for a whole new wardrobe. So today I'm gonna to be shopping in my own wardrobe. The style that I'm trying to create is currently called Annika is French now. Je suis Francois. But I'm sure this is going to be highly offensive to all of my French viewers out there. So it needs a new name. Please come up with one. Thank you. And to all the French people in my audience, I apologize greatly. Anyway, let's begin shopping through my wardrobe. Hello, it is me, Annika. I have different lipstick on now because it is some hours later and I had lunch and it came off and then I decided I wanted red instead. So I'm gonna go through my wardrobe and create from that a little capsule wardrobe, which I'm going to put here. And then after I do that, I will do a little lookbook at the end of this video of some of the outfits I have chosen. I think I'm gonna start at the messiest part of my wardrobe. This is where my tops live. Let's just... Well, I'm committed now. So unfortunately, I think a lot of this stuff, I love it, but it's too colorful for my current style. In the time that's passed between the intro and now, I also went out with my friend Katie and I dressed in this red dress and I didn't like it. Kind of felt like I was trying to be 16 year old me who's just discovered the movie Amelie, which isn't a bad style per se, but I'm 26 and I don't want to dress like I did when I was 16. So super cutesy stuff, I think. I'm gonna have to part with like this cute sailor top. I actually think this was a kid's top. Now don't get me wrong, it would look dope on someone else with a different style, but it's not what I'm going for. So things that are high necked and stripy like this, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. 
I'm not just gonna do all like French stereotype clothing. It's not all gonna be stripes. My new style is gonna be inspired by contemporary French fashion, not a stereotype of French people. Hopefully. <laughs> nice high necked tops. Yes, including this. Lace, I think, is something that I am going to include a lot in this wardrobe. A lot of this process has just involved me holding things up against myself in the mirror. So, like, you can see, something like this, it doesn't really work with my haircut, because my haircut's very, like, 20s and vintage -y, and this t-shirt's very 80s. Whereas, something like this, this definitely works with my haircut, so it's going on the rack. This top is fantastic, but it does not suit me anymore. <laughs> Sadly, I think I'm gonna have to part with it. A cute silk top, yes. Not only am I paying attention to the color and the fit of the clothes, but also the material it's made from. I'm going for a slightly more sophisticated, sort of elegant look. So I'm going for things that look well-constructed and are made from sort of more luxurious materials. This is going on the rack. Okay, this is a tough one. Is stripy red just too on the nose or, hmm. I'm gonna make myself a maybe pile as well and reconsider when I've got all the elements of my wardrobe together. Maybe pile. Okay, so I've organized all the tops that I have into three different sections. These are the ones that I am keeping, that I really like, that suit my new style. And then this is what the maybe pile became. It includes handmade clothing that I can't bear to get rid of because it took me hours to make. Clothing that has really high sentimentality value. And finally, some items that are just, they're quite similar to the style I'm going for or just slightly adjacent to it. I'm keeping some of these so that I can redo this process in a whole year and shop my own wardrobe again. When and if I get a little bit sick of some of these items. And then finally, this is all of the stuff that I am going to be parting with. Now I've laid it out like this so that I can take pictures of it and send them to my friends. I have a bunch of friends coming over tomorrow to do some sewing and I'm going to uh, surprise them with a little clothing swap. Not really a swap. I'm gonna surprise them by being like, hey, wanna take some of my clothes? And then after that, anything that's left over, I'm going to take to a clothing store called Swap, which is a store here in Sydney where they buy your old clothing. So it's generally uh, good vintage pieces or high quality new clothing, which all of this is. And then they either pay you 25% of what they're gonna sell it for, or they give you 50% of that as store credit which is what I'm gonna go for. It's fantastic, it's like a clothing recycling system. I know that these also exist in the US and also in Japan, cause I've been there, it's called New York Joe Exchange. So if you have anything like that near you, it's a really good option to recycle out your clothing and get new ones for free <laughs> using the store credit they've given you. And if they don't take those pieces, then the rest of the high quality clothing that I am getting rid of, um, I am going to take to my local charity stores so that they can be recycled back into the community. Now, I don't have anything that's low enough quality to show you an example of this, but if you did have like t-shirts or tops that were falling apart, maybe not so good, I've done this in the past, I put them in my scrap bin so that I can reuse the fabric so nothing is going to waste. Also, I've arranged all of these tops according to their color in kind of a rainbow. The colors in these tops will inform the pants and the jackets and jumpers and sweaters that I keep. Also, this keeping rack, this stuff is on trial. If there are items in here that I don't wear in the next couple of months, then they are being banished to either the sentimental pile or the goodbye pile. And now it is time to repeat the process with pants, dresses, sweaters, shoes, accessories. You get the idea, so time lapse. It is beautiful. I am done. I am so done. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in a few days for my outfits, which for you will be like a minute or so, cause editing. I'm basically a time traveler. Bye. Good morning. I gotta say, it was a lot easier to get dressed this morning than it has been in months. I am so glad that I spent all of yesterday doing this because I love my outfit today and I even, like I forgot I even had these jeans and they're so good. So I'm about to head out to Swap where I already have a fair amount of store credit. I decided that I wanted a couple more things to add to this, just a few. One is flared pants because that was something that I pinned a lot to the Pinterest board and I really like and I really want. If I can find some, that would be amazing. A wrap dress would also be a fantastic find and maybe like a top or two, like a structured fitted top would be really nice. I don't have too many of those. Wish me luck. I 
have been blessed by the vintage gods. I found five fantastic things and I didn't go over the amount of credit I still had at Swap, so I got them for freaking free. I got this beautiful button-up structured blouse with blue and white pinstripes and the cutest damn pockets and such a cute stripy crop top. I found this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dusty pink wrap dress. This really versatile and I think it's like suede or it's very velvety. It's really nice feeling. A pinafore dress and a piece de resistance. I'll stop speaking French. I'm so sorry. Flare jeans. As promised, it is now time for me to play dress ups in my new wardrobe and show you some outfits. Let's go! wonderful supporters for making this video possible. If you've learned something or you like these videos and you want to ensure that they keep on coming in the world of AdSense demonetization and algorithms, go to co-fi.com forward slash Annika Victoria for a one-off contribution or to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria to support me on a regular basis. Stay wonderful and stay crafty.